Hi, I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Welcome to another Monday Makes video on my blog and YouTube channel. For today's card, I'm featuring the beautiful bouquet stamp set and the bouquet bunch thinlet dies. I have a piece of Whisper White here and I am sponging on Daffodil Delight and Flirty Flamingo. I have sped this up quite a bit because I want you to see the whole process and I don't really want to cut anything out. But this is how I do it. It's just randomly um, sponging on a yellow and sort of a pinky red and blending to make some parts orange, some parts yellow. And I'm doing top and bottom, uh, the top with Lemon Lime Twist, the bottom with Tranquil Tide, and then sort of blending them in together. So this is, um, I'm not too worried about blending too much. It doesn't have to be perfect because these are going to be splashed with water and then die cut. So that is exactly what I'm doing here. You, I'm splashing some water. You can't really see it until I pick the cardstock up and put it on a hard board to um, dry it with my heat gun. And you can kind of see what that water does. It creates sort of like bleach marks on the paper, which will give texture to your die cuts. And of course, one of these die cuts are going to be blossoms and one of them's going to be the leaves. So I have the multi-purpose adhesive sheet here. I'm putting the whole card stock right on it and I put in the green one down too. And don't worry, I got the missing part too with some extra pieces of that adhesive sheet. But here I go um, applying some of the die cuts and I cut a whole bunch. Like I obnoxiously went through my big shot uh, probably about, I don't know, six or seven times to create, um, to get these blossoms. Then I forgot that I had to do the bouquet, like the stems too. So I had to make another piece. And I also did that little note and this is the wrap that goes around the bouquet. So I took my cr um, crumb cake ink and I stamped the for you. Watch out for a close up. There it is because it's so tiny. It's so cute. I have to remember to use that on my Friday videos. Okay, so I have linen thread here and I will attach that to the whole bouquet. But first I'm going to go in with my Tombow glue and put the wrap down first and then I'm going to tie the for you and linen thread around with a cutesy little bow and then I'm applying glue all over the back being careful not to um, you know have any ooze out but the bouquet is going to go on top of that so I'm not too worried if anything gets oozed out on the top just on the bottom I wanted to be careful and patted that down and adhered that into place. So now comes the fun part, uh, adhering all the blossoms. So one of the great things about the adhesive sheets is that they basically make all your die cuts like stickers. So once I've peeled off the back on a lot of these, all I had to do was place, put, put the flowers, place the leaves, and make this bouquet the most bodacious bouquet a person could ever get. The one thing I did notice was that um, I wanted to sort of stick some of the leaves under that wrap and I kind of forgot that I glued it down. So there's a couple pieces where I had to cut, but that's okay. So um, I'm <laughs> just breezing through this. It's pretty much the same process. It was so much fun. When I first saw this stamp set, I was like, huh, maybe, maybe not. I'm so glad that I got that and the die cuts because one without the other, just it doesn't cut it. So I had a lot of fun just adhering these and you could make this as full or as thin of a bouquet as you would want. Of course, if a bouquet of flowers was given to me, I'd want, you know, it to be full and not full um like sometimes i i notice that when you do get flowers there's more sprigs and fillers than there is actually flowers so 
I'm not cheaping out on this one. Whoever get, whoever's getting this card is going to have a big luscious bouquet. And you can see how the inking by sponging that has created a real variation in color for those blossoms. Okay, so then I'm adhering just a little bit of black fast fuse to the back and then I'm placing that on a piece of Lemon Lime Twist, favorite cardstock ink color. Here is a little trick. This is called an adhesive remover and if you ever get sort of like cracked paper, you just run your adhesive remover along it and there you go. You don't have that weird, you know, cracked paper on the top. Little tip there. Okay, so I have stamped with my Memento Black, the sentiment. I couldn't have picked a better friend than you. I used my stitched square, well, stick shape, stitched shape framelits in the square variety for the sentiment. And then I adhered that to a just, uh, I cut down a little piece of lemon lime twist, added some dimensionals on the back and that is my card for today sorry for taking up so much of your time uh love having you here and i'll talk to you soon bye hey thanks for sticking around to the end of the video on screen are two more videos for inspiration click on the maple leaf to visit my website or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.